In this video, we want to present the solution to question number 14 for practice exam number one for math 1210. In this question, we're asked to compute the domain of the function f of x, which equals the square root of 2x plus 1 all over x squared minus 1. And we need to report our answer in interval notation. Well, when it comes to these functions, uh, when we're trying to find the domain, the domain convention tells us that we're going to accept, unless told otherwise, which we weren't, we're going to accept all real numbers which make the expression into a well-defined real number. And there's basically three problems we have to look for. We have to look for taking square roots of negatives. There is a square root in our function, so we do have to watch out for that. We need to look out for division by zero, which there is a denominator here, so we need to lock out, watch out for that. We also need to look out for logs of zero or logs of a negative. There's no logarithms in this, in this function, so we don't have to worry about that one so much. But we have to worry about taking the square root of a negative and dividing by zero. All right, um, and so those are the only real domain issues we have to worry about when it comes to, to these calculus functions here. So when you look at the square root, right, we need to make sure when you're examining the square root, the radicand, that is the 2x plus 1, that needs to be non-negative. It can, it, you, uh, being equal to 0 is okay. So we have to solve the inequality, 2x plus 1 is greater than or equal to 0. We subtract 1 from both sides, we get 2x is greater than or equal to negative 1. We divide by 2, we get x needs to be greater than or equal to negative 1 half. So that's what the domain of the numerator requires. But we also have to make sure the denominator never goes to 0. So when we solve the equation x squared minus 1 equals 0, we get x squared equals 1. We take the square root and see x equals plus or minus 1. These are actually forbidden values. x should not equal these. And so we need to put this stuff together. It's like, okay, x needs to be greater than or equal to negative 1. Excuse me, greater than or equal to negative 1 half. Negative 1 is less than that. But also not equal to plus or minus 1. So when you put those together, when you look at the intersection of these domains, we're going to get negative 1 half to 1 union 1 to infinity. This would be the domain of our function. We can only accept things greater than one, negative 1 half. So we get this. We have to intersect that with the domain here. The domain here was negative infinity to negative 1, union negative 1 to 1, union 1 to infinity. You'll notice that this domain makes no mention of negative 1, like jumping over it, because negative 1 is less than negative 1 half. And so this one already told us we weren't ever going to be close to negative 1 in the domain.